morning beautiful people and welcome back to my channel um my life has been so chaotic uh since the last time we have spoken i have a few updates for you guys so we're gonna get off into that um i'm trying to figure out what else is going on my hair is a little a mess right now because i literally just laid it down before i got on camera so if you see a little lace no you don't mind your business Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Added some powder to my brows just to dry them out a little bit because I did put some um, hydrating lotion or whatever on my face. So I'm just going to dry them out. And then I'm using my brow pencil. This right here is from NYX. But y'all know that. If y'all not new here, y'all know we reuse products, okay? Because we're going to get our money's worth. So just applying this. Making sure... That I kind of trace out where I want my brows to be. I honestly don't even know where to start with this whole thing. Because this whole week has been so chaotic. I guess I will start with big country. If you guys go back through my um, my hotel's um, little playlist or whatever. There's a story about big country on there. And if y'all know, y'all know. Big country did me so fucking dirty. Like... I was in love with this man like so in love with this man okay if this man told me to jump bitch i was saying how high okay all right i'm gonna take a little bit of born this way concealer to clean up under my eye so when he first reached out to me i was like i'm not gonna lie my heart did skip a beat because a girl again i was so in love with this man but after that i was like oh bitch i'm highly upset i am highly upset the only thing that i could do was laugh because I know that you're not serious. This man called me twice on Instagram. This is why I say I need to stay the fuck about it with the messages. I don't need to be looking at the messages because it's been for the last couple times I checked, it's been one of my exes there, or not an ex, just like a fling or whatever. But anyway, it's been one of them there trying to hate Ari me. So this man called me twice on Instagram. Thank God I missed it because I ain't got my notifications on. And I'm pretty sure he called me because he was in town. Because y'all know he stay out in like East Texas. Where everybody know each other's first and last name. It's very countrified out there. So I'm pretty sure that's why he called. Because he was trying to see me. Because at one point in time. Bitch if he. If we didn't talk for two years. This man could just pop up in my life. And I would be around. Because I was saving myself for him. Okay. That's how much control he had over me. And I know you guys are probably judging me. Alright what the hell. Why did you let a man control your life like that all i'm going to say is nobody's judging you in your current situation that you're in right now we're not judging you for letting that man drive your car we're not judging you so don't come over here judging me for the decisions that i made four to five years ago probably five or six yeah probably five or six years ago okay you can't judge me my mindset was not as strong as it was today hell your mindset is probably still not as strong so you're not in any position to judge anybody okay but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You just live your life and let me live mine. And then, girl, I seen his picture and I'm like, oh my gosh, she still look good. I was so fucking close. And I know y'all probably wonder, how in the hell did any man have that much control over you? Girl, the D was immaculate. Immaculate. Still have never experienced anything like that now. Okay? And he was just a bona fide fucking freak. Like, never had anything like that again y'all gotta go watch that video if you want to know what the fuck had my mind gone i would highly suggest to go watch that video because i'm not explaining it again because i have to relive fucking trauma which i'm not going to do today all right i gotta do something simple because this hair is like a lot anyway we're going back in with the jacqueline hill palette y'all know if you don't know now you know i use this palette in almost every single video this is the one okay um anyway I said to myself, when I seen him, I said, girl, you cannot go back to that, okay? Like, that type of hypnosis that he put on me, I do not wish that on nobody, okay? Because that was only a once-in-a-lifetime experience that I needed to experience. If that man wanted my check, he could have had it. Do you understand what I'm telling you? That type of experience, you don't need that in your life. So, I'm not wishing that on you, okay? But anyway, I was like... No, I have to get my get back because I remember just being so much hurt. Like after the butterflies and the excitement of seeing him again and rush the hurt and how I felt in that moment. And it was like, oh, 
bitch, I remember you laughing at me. Me sending like this long Aaliyah four page letter type of thing um, to him, just expressing to him like, you know, I kept myself for two years for you. I waited on you. Like anytime you come back, I'm here. And this man at the end of the message hit me with the K, the letter K. Then the laughing emoji, like you're laughing at my motherfucking pain, bitch. But because he did that, I knew, like I knew there would never ever be a time that me and you could work this out so even after all this time y'all know what i did i laughed in his motherfucking face i laughed in his face and i was like bitch you can't be fucking serious right now after what the fuck you put me through i just know i know you're not fucking serious right now it's not even like the people that be messaging me it's not even like we left off on good terms you know what i'm saying like oh we could spend four or five years apart and then come back and everything is going to be straight no we didn't leave off on good terms. So why are you reaching out to me like everything is okay? Not even reaching out on, hey, you know what? I apologize for the way that I did you. You gonna try to hey big head me, bitch. You you gonna you gonna try to hit me with the do I remember you? Bitch, of course I remember you. You almost sent me to a motherfucking mental hospital. Are you fucking crazy? Are you crazy? Do I remember you? Oh yes, I remember the mental breakdown that I almost had and being in contact with you. Part of me. And a part of me is saying, girl, that's a bad idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. But the other side of my head, it's like the left and the right side. The other side of my brain is telling me to go in with this palette, right? To go in with this palette, use the darkest of the darkest shade on the lid, this one right here, and see what we get. I don't know. My brain is telling me not to, but my hands are, my hands are going. Um... So after I laughed in his face, I guess his ego was hurt. But like, girl, bitch, that that has no, like that 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 has no comparison to the way that you made me feel for years, for years, my man. It took me fucking what two, almost three years to get over you. And I, you know what? Me being a woman and standing in my woman's ship. Is that a word? I don't know if it is. But standing in my womanship, I'm going to say that I, I truly and sincerely do apologize to the men that I hurt because of him. Because I felt like somebody was going to feel my wrath. After you fucking put, took me through that, I'm going to say this full fucking name, big country. After you took me through that, bitch, there were so many men who had to pay for your mistakes. So I apologize for my part that I had into that. But bitch, you, you better not never reach out to me. Never fucking reach out to me again. There will never be a time or a place that I don't hate your fucking guts. It just is what it is. I'm about to ruin this with some black. That's okay. We'll see what happens. I'm going in with like a little bit of black just on the outer corners because I just want them a little bit darker than what they are even though i feel like this is like more of a smoked out look um i still want it a little bit darker i don't know i'm just my goth emo stage um anyway then the other thing that occurred is listen as much as your girl and some of y'all probably already told me this but whatever i don't need the i, I told you so okay just Worry about yourself, okay? What I'm going through is what I'm going through. And sometimes a bitch like me gotta go through some shit in order to learn some shit. Cause she don't really, I don't really learn well from people telling me what to do. Got a problem with authority. Anyway, um, I don't know. Me in this situation with my ex, like I think we have tried and tried and tried, and I'm not sure that it's ever gonna be a time that it just it just works out. So I have went ahead and completely just iced him out. <laughs> like block the number everything just completely ice them out because i'm tired I'm tired of the back and forth i'm tired of the state of confusion like i feel like love is just not a state of confusion i don't know I, girl my heart be going through shit okay i have had enough of that situation and i don't plan on speaking to him even when he comes home like i just i mean you come see kids take them wherever you need to take them kind of like a co-parent situation but i don't need to be involved anymore because it's just it's too many feelings involved. Hey, I want to kind of make this inner corner pop, but I feel like I should do this at the end. I'm going to do it at the end because, yeah, I'm not trying to mess it up. Um, I want to go in with my e.l.f. primer. And y'all know I'm going to prime my skin. Get all of that together. 
this week has been rough like i said running around with the kids because y'all know they're out for summer break child i'm so ready for my kids to go back to school i don't know about you but i am between eating up everything in the house lord i thank you that we have made it i don't know how but we have made it so far okay i think i got what a month left they go back in august <laughs> girl bye bye tired of this i'm tired of having to do things that i don't want to do for the sake of me having kids like it's just this summer has been a lot and it's mainly just the hurting is put on my pockets i feel like i feel like the amount of money that i've spent on groceries since they've been home for the summer would have been the same amount for me to send them to camp and i was like i don't want to send them to camp because i don't have enough money girl it would have been the same fucking amount i should have just went ahead and sent them to camp all right, I'm going to try to use my new Caldonia because I have been out here in these streets lately. Um, you know, getting a tan or whatnot. I've been in the pool, which is insane because I said I wasn't going to be in the pool. But, girl, I've been in the pool. I went to Hurricane Harbor yesterday. Like, child, your girl is fucking tired. Anyway, anyway, let me get back. So, I decided, like, hey, Ari, you know what? Because y'all know I'm in my I hate men era. I always go through one. Like once a year, I go through a phase where I just cannot stand nothing about men. Like everything about them is just super repulsive and it just, it irks my damn nerves. But I said, you know what? I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to try to do better and freaking get out here and actually try to really date because you just never know what happened, right? So you know how people say they're dating with a purpose? Well, I'm not dating with a purpose or intention. I'm just kind of dating in general, right? The amount of people who are trying to date and instantly be in a relationship like i get it we're getting older so i totally understand and i i get it i'm here i'm with you right but at the same time like can we please get to know each other first like before we just kind of rush into a relationship like literally in the vials that i am reading it's like well i'm not playing no games you shouldn't be playing no games neither we need to be in a relationship i'm looking for my everything and i feel like when you go looking for stuff like that's how you be ending up with them crazies and it's like damn i can't go on a date with you and see like if i like you type of thing my goodness, the dating pool definitely has piss in it. Um, and then, like, again, with the 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 couples, like, can I please? Can I please just grow? And I just, I feel like, you know what? I feel like I'm going to have to move. If I'm being quite honest with you, I'm going to have to move. And the reason why I'm going to have to move is because, again, the men in Dallas around my age, around my age group are not attractive. Like, they come off as just... I don't know. And then I was thinking, I was thinking, like, as I'm talking to people and as I'm reading their bios, I'm like, you know what it could be? It could be the fact that I have my shit together to be my age, if that makes sense. Like, for someone to be, because I'm 30, so for somebody to be 30, what I'm seeing is that, okay, and this is not to be rude not to be rude mean malice none of that right i'm starting to see that the men my age are still working at like you know lower paying positions i don't think that they've reached the the point of promotion just yet like warehouse jobs forklift drivers stuff like that right and the most recent one that i talked to really nice guy or whatever but it was a no for me like he had some yeses but then it turned out to be a no and i was like you know what? I think I vibe so heavy with older men because we be like kind of very close as far as like driven, as far as income, stuff like that. Like we be kind of close, stuff like that, you know, where they don't have to be like, oh, $40 is going to make or break me if I go out to dinner type of thing. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I think just maturity wise and where I am in my life, like I'm very fortunate and very lucky to be where I am. I think my where I am in life is up here with people who are older than me it's not the same as people in the same age group and that's probably why I don't find them attractive I don't know to use some of my Morphe setting mist oh Jesus I 
I've never been like one of those people who feel like, oh my goodness, I have to be making, you know, less than you in order for this to work out. I've never been one of those girls, but I do feel like I want somebody not so much in the same bracket as me, but like, can we please be a little equals here? Okay. Because I don't want to have to be taking care of everything and I don't want us to always have to kick it at my house because you got a roommate. Speaking of which... Anyway, I started talking to this guy and I was cool, right? So um, he FaceTimed me out the blue girl. I was looking a hot ass mess. I was like, you know what? I don't care. You know, you want to FaceTime me? This is what you're going to get. You want to pick up the phone or randomly FaceTime me? This is what you're getting. So I FaceTime him or whatever. And we're talking and conversation's good. And, you know, he's like, where do you live? I tell him where I live. You know, he's like, oh, okay. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, then... Then he's like, well, I just got out of a relationship seven months ago. Not really tripping off of that because I just recently got out of a relationship. And we seem to be kind of the same but on, like, the opposite sides of the spectrum. Meaning, um, I just got out of a relationship with an older man because I wanted to. Like, I like older men. He was saying he was in a relationship with an older woman because he was forced into that situation. And I was like, was it an arranged marriage? But he wouldn't go into detail. So I was like, okay, cool. Anyway, um... We're talking, we're talking, we're talking, and he works inside of a warehouse. He's on a forklift, so you're driving a forklift and FaceTime, but I'm like, hey, if you cool with it, you're not afraid of OSHA or losing your job, then I'm Gucci with it. Like, it don't matter to me. For like a lighter feel today, I'm going to try to use a brush instead of my normal, um, you know, powder puff, powder puff, whatever it's called. I'm going to try to use this brush instead. Anyway, um, we're talking and, you know, he was saying like, oh, well, I was with her because it was a forced situation and they had a kid and he seemed to have been with her for a long time or whatever. So I'm like, OK, maybe, you know, he'll discuss this more like if we make it to the dinner phase. He was a really nice guy. I think he just had a lot of shit going on. Then he mentioned something and I was like, normally people mention this like it's a reason why he mentioned that he was taking his daughter to disney world but then he's like i didn't think i was gonna have no money for it and i was like okay so you're mentioning the money aspect of it because you're probably a little little tight on cash right now right so i'm like okay i'll let that pass even though it's a red flag for me so i'm like eh, okay so i let that pass then um he start like um talking about like his living situation so i'm like you know you have your own house, like you have your own apartment. And he's like, oh, I got a roommate. And I'm like, okay, you know, like maybe, cause inflation is high, bitch. Inflation is very high because my leasing company um, just went up $160 a month, bitch. I was like, oh, damn. I mean, thankfully I love the neighborhood that I'm in, love my neighbors. Um, and I don't mind paying for it. Like I'm in a position, thank God, that I'm able to pay the $160 extra a month. So it don't really bother me. But I totally understand that inflation is a little bit higher and everybody was not able to get a raise. And I'm trying to be very open and understanding to the whole entire situation. And with my Fenty 480, y'all, I done broke this thing. So it's not a lot in here. But we're going to try to make it do what it do. Anyway, he tells me that. And then he goes on to say, yeah, like his ex wanted him to move in with her. And then he told her like, you know, nah, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this thing with my brother and move in with him. And I was like, that implies that you weren't able to do it by yourself. Even, even pre whatever the fuck we got going on right now, you know, like it, it implies that you weren't able to do this by yourself or that you just, maybe you're in a phase that you really want to save money. But I, I you know what I find kind of difficult and hard to understand and wrap my mind around of is men be wanting women to come with it all on house, on car, you know, everything. You got to have everything in order. But then when it comes to y'all, like y'all want us to be a little bit understanding to your situation mind you he was 35 so it's like uh, 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 and it's not even like you were fresh i mean you kind of fresh out of relationship but you said that you didn't had this apartment since y'all was together so you and your brother just been cool and and i don't know i like my privacy too much to have a fucking roommate if you have a roommate that is on you i'm not knocking you i'm just saying for me Girl, I, I will go to a one-bedroom apartment and share it with my twins before I have a roommate. Like, I will cut down on expenses just to make sure I have peace of mind in my own space. But that's just me. I was even thinking, I was like, I could even possibly let that slide to the fact that he has a roommate, right? Because, again, he came off. He was super cute to the guy. Adorable. I was like, mm, all right. But then I was like, 
no because you do not have the time all right you don't you have two kids already you don't have the time to be trying to build up nobody and you know then he went on a rant about his ex and i'm like listen and i know this is probably like really bad to say but when it comes to my ex like i really don't be having like a lot of bad things to say about him did he not always be there absolutely but there was nothing i can't bash the man because he took care of us so i can't bash him in any type of way it's just it didn't work out he was like he he wanted to bash the girlfriend he hated her you know all this other stuff i'm like girl i i mean i'm sorry i just don't have time and the more i thought about it the more i was like i i just don't have the energy to be trying to build nobody up. I, I don't have it. And not saying that I won't give you words of affirmation or encouraging words on your journey or whatever. I just, I'm saying like, I don't have the energy for that right now because you are in a tough spot and baby, I've done that before trying to build a man up and in the midst of me trying to build him up, he was tearing me now, girl, I don't have it in me. I'm sorry. I just don't wish you the best of luck. But for me, I don't have it in me. Child, the light. I love working in sunlight, but it's so hard because it be messing with your ISO. Girl, if you don't know about ISO, we'll get into that in another video. I do need to make a whole video on my setup. But right now, I'm going into my inner corner with that um, color I was telling y'all about and that berries palette because I just wanted to add just like a little pop over here. Hopefully, it's doing what it needs to do to make me pop just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I'm a real woman. It's all in me. Anything you want to do that. I don't know, something about this hair just kinda, it's kinda setting the tone for me, okay? Like I knew it was fire before, but like, it's getting in there okay like it's just it's the layers the way the layers were cutting everything i think i think i may dye the rest of my wigs this color i don't know i don't know anyway let's go ahead and finish up i'm gonna add some blush this is mac i want to say this color is raisin but don't don't quote me on it because i'm not 100 percent sure okay but i'm gonna apply this kind of give me a little bit of color in there then we can move on i don't even know where the hell i left off i went and curled my hair and then totally forgot where the hell we left off but that's okay um the moral of the story is niggas ain't shit but hoes and tricks that, that's the moral of the story all right we're gonna go ahead and blend this out i understand that i think my lashes are a little off but that's okay because not really going nowhere i'm just going to go have a movie night with my friend's daughter because um she's going through a breakup and again niggas ain't shit but hoes and tricks okay it don't matter the age they all just lord have mercy hopefully my son turned out a little different but if he don't i totally understand okay i've raised him to be a stand-up man okay <laughs> saw this girl on um on instagram and she brought her blush up higher under her eyes and i was like oh my goodness i like it now on me because i did bring it like slightly up under the eyes i do I, I feel like it just you know carves the face out a little bit better so i'm here for it okay i am totally here for it we just gonna move on to the lips if you guys have made it here make sure you guys subscribe i know you guys are wanting more story times of me going out but honestly my friend is in the midst of moving the one i always go out with and then you know you have another set of friends that are just completely opposite they don't they don't do half the shit me and her do so um not in a bad way just saying but they don't um so she's in the midst of moving and ever since i got in the moment, girl i'm not going outside i'm just i'm just not doing it so we be in his house a lot um i know that there was a request for a I think a face routine girl i only use like three products but i would definitely give those to y'all for my face because I don't, I don't know nothing about you know skincare shit like that but i would definitely give those to y'all in the next video i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to do a full little cycle of don't don't hold my feet to the fire but i'm definitely gonna try all right i'm gonna use my morphe um setting mist y'all know i love that oh mm -mm -mm -mm. all right let's go ahead and line our lips we're gonna be using y'all know the cinnamon roll from jacqueline hill you know i'm gonna line my lips with this I'm 
using my butterscotch by NYX. I wanted to use my crayon case, but I guess it fell out in my car because my son did kind of drop some shit. All right, so we're going to use this one. This one is Barely There by Juvia's. Hey guys so here we are this is the finished look hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you guys like comment and subscribe overall i am here for this i feel like the eyes are super sultry kind of get you on a date night girl it was simple what we do like three shadows three and then maybe a fourth one including a little pop of color it was not bad it was not bad at all okay i'm here for this i feel like you could just throw on like a little maxi dress and call it a day matter of fact i'm probably gonna do that today I'm probably gonna do it today again i wanted to keep my eyeshadow a little bit simple because my hair is so bright well not really bright it's like a ginger but anyway the hair is the main attraction here that's so we wanted to focus around that and give me something like bronzy and stuff to just kind of warm up my skin a little bit and i think we achieved that the young lady who oh, can get it out <laughs> the young lady who said to bring up the eyeshadow i mean not the eyeshadow the blush under your eye girl you're the goat because baby this is hidden and i don't remember her name if i do see her again on my um for you page then i would definitely tag her below because anybody trying to steal credit babes i don't need those problems in my life but yeah overall i think it works out i absolutely love it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe hopefully in the next video i'll have a life update for you guys because i'm supposed to be going somewhere this weekend but don't hold me to it because i may not go it's supposed to be on a date but we'll see anyway i love you guys and i will see you guys next time